Okay, so we're here with Mike Bright. He's going to show us uh, if you're doing a basic rock beat with eighth <laughs> notes. He's going to show us some of the things that he throws in just to spice it up a little. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you're doing, um, let's say, uh, You can add a little uh, snare and a little extra bass drum to, to spice it up. And one thing you always got to remember, especially if you're just starting out, is don't forget your dynamics. <laughs> don't out overpower the band. Don't forget uh, that uh, you play the whole set in balance. Uh, don't out overpower your bass drum uh, for the rest of the set or the snare drum. Keep everything in balance. And um, just uh, always keep your center of your timing in your head where you're at with the uh, transition between sections in the song. And um, just have fun. How about, Mike, a lot of young drummers do a roll nearly every measure. How often should they do a roll? I would say that you should do a roll uh, every four measures. And um, always do it uh, with in conjunction what the song is. Uh, some songs... Uh, Maybe require a little more, but not a whole roll um, at the end of uh, four beats, but uh, don't overdo it. Okay. <laughs> your, your, your job is to keep the time and keep the band together, yep. not to show off your latest uh, lesson or lick that you just learned. <laughs> so there we go. Wise lesson from Mike Bright world-renowned drummer, traveler of the United States <laughs> and abroad. Just giving you some uh, basic drum tips there as you start out on your way of learning how to play drums. Thanks, Mike. You're welcome. <laughs>